make a difference guys we are here with Jedi at uh, uh, City Fitness uh, who are you and uh, what is it the Kratos challenge yeah, so I'm Jedi I'm one of the co-founders of Junto, and I've always in my whole life wanted to do a physical fitness challenge where I get a six-pack so Kratos from God of War is my favorite game character and today you're gonna see me do a workout where I'm preparing to be Kratos from the God of War starting out with today is chest so chest is very important right it works out not only your chest but also the entire like upper region uh, so I always like to combine chest with shoulders um, so today's workout is chest and shoulders so this is the dumbbell incline bench press um, it's a very very easy exercise anyone can do it um, and it really really works you out well it also allows you to stabilize if you have an injury like I do on my left shoulder and my left uh, elbow um, this one allows me to practice control as I go up and down. So this is sitting dumbbell press. You grab the dumbbells, uh, you lift them to shoulder height. Now you want to explode up and then you want to slowly bring them down to practice control. I usually do three sets of this. Um, I do two sets for a lighter weight and then one set of max weight. So right now we're doing push-up and I've always felt that push-ups are a great thing for the end of your exercise because it's lightweight, it's only body weight and it's a good way to really burn out and burn your sets out and you know, get that extra pump at the end of it when you think you have nothing else. So I normally go to about 50 or 60 uh, reps per set and I try to really enjoy it as much as I can, enjoy like the pain that comes with it. And at the end of my push-up routine, man, I am good, I am golden. So one of the best shoulder exercises to me is a front dumbbell raise. Uh, we basically grab a dumbbell with both hands, we raise it up in front of us. Uh, you know, we wanna be uh, parallel basically to our body at the end of it, or to our shoulders. And uh, once we raise it up, we wanna slowly, again, bring it down to practice control. Dumbbell side bend. Uh, this one is uh, pretty awesome. It helps work out the abs you know, on your side. Uh, you can see you know, as I'm coming down that I'm flexing very hard, about nine, I'd say 45 degrees. And at 45 degrees, I just bring it back up. Uh, it's a nice workout. I usually use 45s. Uh, if I had 55s and 65s, I would totally use them at home. Unfortunately, I gotta come to the gym for this. But uh, you know, it's, it gets, it's good to get me out of the house. Spitball crunches are pretty cool. They allow you to really extend all the way, coming up and extending back out of the actual crunch. Uh, I always found this gives me a much better workout than just a traditional crunch because I'm extending my back and it just overall makes me feel much more athletic uh, and a lot better at the end of the, of the ab workout. Yeah. <laughs> well, who wants to enjoy the pain? Dude, I, the pain feels great, man. The pain's, the pain's the best. 